focus on the Dobsonian model telescope, which is what I have here. It's a great choice for amateur astronomers because it offers really high magnif magnifications at a relatively low price. If you want to get it even more simple, you can use just a pair of binoculars to do some great astronomy. But this is a really good choice. It has 360 degree panning and can view the entire sky. The only drawback is it's a little bit unwieldy to set up, but once you find a good spot, it's okay. Let's take a look inside. The Dobsonian looks like this on the inside. Light from a star, planet, or whatever you're looking at comes in here, reflects off the concave mirror here, off of a flat mirror, and onto the eyepiece, which greatly increases the magnification. The eyepieces look like this, and can be combined for even higher magnifications. So let's head outside and see what we can find. backyard. This is a great place to come and view the stars because as you can see there's not many lights around to block out the night sky. There's also not many trees to get in my way. Now if I need to orient myself I know that the sun always rises over there in the east and always sets over there in the west. Even if I didn't know that I could always find the north star using the Big Dipper to orient myself in the sky. Now when you come outside to actually view the stars you're going to want to set and let your eyes adjust for about 10 minutes to get used to the dark. You'll be amazed how many more stars you're going to be able to see. For the rest of this presentation, I'm going to show you some things you can find in the sky, how to find them, and how they're going to look through a simple amateur telescope. Let's see what we can find. Okay. 